So what have you been up to this last year? Because you like took a you haven't been like performing for big studios much yeah. lately. You've been doing your own thing, right? Yeah, I have. I've been um, performing. Like I've been doing stuff just. Um, and then I go to school full time. Right. So, yeah. So what is that like? It's fun. I, I have a really good time in school. Um, so I'm majoring in philosophy, like for pre-law. So I enjoy it a lot. And I'm also a tutor at my school. Like, so I do a lot of extracurricular activities at school as well that take up a lot of time. That really doesn't leave up a lot of time for like shooting content and stuff like that. Like I'm on the debate team as well, which involves like a lot of Saturdays, like, you know, just debating all weekend. And yeah, Dude, the debate team scares me because I'm actually like I'm not great with confrontation and yeah. I, I don't like arguing with people. So how is that yeah. so, working for you? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, so that was something that was a big problem for me as well um, was having, um, you know, any kind of confrontation. However, in debate, it's, you know, you're given a resolution, for example, like the World Cup should be abolished or something like that. And then you they tell you which side you're going to be on, whether you're on the like affirmative or the negative. So even so, even when if you're like debating and you're on the side of something that you don't believe in, like you want, you wish you were defending the other side. Yeah. It kind of teaches you like while you're defending the side that you don't believe in at all, you're gaining another person's perspective because there is someone who actually does feel like the way that. Yeah. Like I'm that I'm trying to portray, even though I don't know. How to which is so, no, no, no. That makes so much sense, and that's something that we like do not see today in our polarized society and yeah. how everybody is so right or left and nobody yeah. even considers the other side and also just the way that media works where it like funnels people further and further to more extremes of either the right or the left so it's like you never get to hear any kind of in between information yeah. yeah i like yeah i definitely like centricism in the sense that you you just really try to listen to both sides and yeah yeah, you just gain a new perspective, so it's really fun, and um, yeah, like I do well. Like I got third place in my last tournament, and it's so funny because no one ever like recognizes me in these things. But like one kid that I was debating against, he like pulled me like to the side afterwards, and he was like, "I know who you are." <laughs> and he was like, "Can I take a picture with you?" But yeah, I was like, "Wow, no wonder you did so bad. You were really distracted." <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I was gonna ask you that as well, like. I mean, you're arguably, you're one of the most recognizable people in the adult industry, for sure. You have a huge following. Like, how are you going to school and not, like, getting mobbed? Um, so, thankfully, honestly, um, like, my classmates are always very respectful. Like, I've never had anyone say anything in front of a professor. Um, it's kind of limited to, like, when I'm just walking around campus. People will be like, oh, Bella Danger. And, like, or, like, if I'm in the cafeteria or something. But no one's ever done it, like, in front of a professor. Um... And I mean, some people like just don't like no one on my like debate team knows 